Hey everybody, this is Chad with welcome to WordPress.com and today we're going to go through a quick video tutorial on how you can add, po add pictures and images to your posts and pages in WordPress. Now, you can see here that I have my uh, post already written. It's actually, this is the tutorial that goes along with this video in the private video library. But I have a couple of images I want to add to this post. It's pretty easy. First thing you have to do is select where in the post you want the image to appear. Now I want my first image to go to the right of this paragraph right here. So I'm going to select the beginning of this paragraph. The fact that I want it on the right doesn't matter right now because with left or right aligned images you can um, select that later on in the process. Next step is to go to the upload insert buttons list right here. And the one you want to click on is this one. It's the add an image button. So when you click on that it brings up the add an image window. Now there are three tabs along the top here. There's from your computer, from a URL, and the media library. We're going to use the from computer tab today, but we'll go over these other two real quick. From URL is pretty straightforward. You type in the address on the internet where the picture resides, then you add an image title. That's going to be what displays in your media library and also what will show up when you hover over the image with your mouse. You can add a caption. That's going to be the text below the image. It's also what WordPress puts in the, um, the alternate text for the image if it can't be displayed. The alternate text is also what um, Google will look at when it, when it indexes your page, when it crawls your page, it'll look at the alt tag for that image to get a feel for what the image is a picture of. So keep that in mind when you choose your image captions as well. We're going to go over alignment and a little later on, but then the link image to field is if you want this picture to link to another website, you can put that address in here, or you can leave it blank if you don't want this image to serve as a link for anything. The third option was the media library. If you click on that, it brings up all the pictures in your media library. You click on show next to an image and it will show you all the options that we're going to go over in a few minutes. And then down here there's an insert to post button. For now we're going to go back to the from computer tab to upload a picture from my computer. Now just click on the select files button. That is going to bring up a select files box where you can navigate to the folder on your computer where your image is stored. I want this one right here so you just select it and click open. It's going to upload the image. Usually image uploads are pretty quick. It will vary depending on the size of your picture. Now personally, if you have a large image, I recommend shrinking it down to the size you want to use before you upload it for a couple of reasons. If you can do that, it will um, A, it will help your upload speed, which isn't really a big deal because usually images are fast, but it, that is a factor to consider. More importantly, smaller images will take up less space on your server um, and they will load faster when people visit your page. So depending on your hosting program, you may want to keep that in mind and shrink your images beforehand if possible. If you can't do that, um, you can do it later on and during this process and I'll show you that as well. Once you've uploaded the image, it will give you all these options that you can um, edit. These are also the options that would show up in the uh, media library when you click that show button I showed you earlier. Now we're going to change the title. And again, the title is what's going to appear when someone hovers their mouse over the image, and it's also how it will be listed in your media library should you need this image later. So it's a good way to keep track of what your images are. The caption is the alternate text that will display if the image isn't available for your, uh, for your reader for some reason, and it's also what will display beneath the image itself. I'm going to add the caption in here. For this one, the caption is going to be the same as the title. That won't always be the case. I'm not going to bother adding a description, but if you wanted to leave yourself a note, a description of what the, what the picture was for um, just the purposes of organization, you could do that here. The link URL field is if you want to use this image as a link, like I talked about before, you can type the web address in here. Now these last two sections are important. There are uh, four alignment options. There's none, left, right, and center. If you choose none, it's going to put the image wherever you click your mouse. If you click the mouse right in the middle of a word before you click the uh, media upload button, then it's going to stick that image right in the middle of that word. If you choose center, it's going to put the image in the middle of the post, and it's going to split the text. Wherever you had your cursor, it's going to put the text above and below the image, with the uh, image centered in the middle of the page. Then left and right are pretty self-explanatory. It'll float the image to the left or the right, but it will wrap the text around that image. And that's what I'm going to do now. I want mine over on the right-hand side, which, I, which is what I've selected. When you choose left or right, it's going to place the top of the image at the line that you had selected. So whichever line you choose, that's where the top of the image is going to be. The size is the last option. It has a number of preset sizes. You can only use one that's smaller than your actual image file. I, um, sh I the Im This image is smaller than the medium and large option, so they aren't available for me right now. But um, I could choose a thumbnail if I wanted to shrink it a little bit more. 
Now that I have the size and everything all set up the way I want, I'm just going to click insert into post. As you can see, my image is right next to the paragraph I selected and it's floated to the right like I wanted it. Now I'm going to go ahead and add another image really quickly. I want this one to be right here. And this one's just a picture of the window we use to add the actual image. So again, I select files, choose my image, click open. I'm just going to enter my options real quick here. And now that image has been added to the post. Now, as you can see, it's pretty big. I don't really want it to be that big, especially since the uh, window on my actual blog theme is narrower than this. I'll have no room for text on the side, and I don't want. To, I wouldn't want to call them this narrow anyway. So let's say I wanted to shrink this image, but I didn't want to use one of the preset sizes available. If I click on the image, it gives me these two buttons, one for editing and one for deleting. If I click the edit button. I can now change some of the options like um, the alignment, the title, the caption, the link URL. I'm going to also use these up here to change the size in 10% increments. Now you can't stretch the image any bigger than it is right now. It won't let you do that because when you stretch images this way, they don't come out looking good. You need to use specific software for that. And also keep in mind these 10% increments are um, relative to the image's current size right now, not necessarily its full size. So if I were to shrink this and then come shrink it again, the next time I come in, it'll be going down to 90% of the size it was at at that time, not the full size it is right now. So I'm going to shrink this down to about 70%. And when I'm done, I will click Update. Now it's a little bit smaller. So that is how you can go in and edit some of the options on your image after the fact. The other thing on that window is there is a tab full of advanced, op advanced settings that you can go in and manipulate for the image. Um, if you, by the time you need these, you'll probably know what they are, so I'm not going to go into too much detail, but that's where they are. There's some CSS things and some extra link settings and things like that. So now that my two images are in, I'm going to preview the post. And there you have it. I have a post. I'm probably going to go in after I'm done and shrink this down a little more because it's still pretty big. But I now have a post with two images floated to the left and the right, and um, that's pretty much how it's done. I'm going to uh, edit this video up, and I'm going to add it into this for you guys, put it up on the video library and um, probably throw it up on YouTube as well. So hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave some comments and uh, let me know how I can help.